Calgary Stampeders have been a busy group here in the last week to 10 days. Hirings, trades, and free agent signings. The business of order here with the uh, the Stampeders. And uh, you would think maybe it's a quiet time in the CFL. Not for John Huffnagel and his crew as yesterday. Yet another potential impact signing for this team. As they have brought back a familiar name and a familiar face. As uh, Martel Mallet is back in the Canadian Football League as a member of the Calgary Stampeders. And he joins us on the Subway Restaurant's Fresh Take Hotline. Martel, good morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you? We're doing great. Uh, I'll tell you. This is uh, this was maybe a little bit of a surprise, and I think for Stampeder fans, a pleasant one to hear your name being here in the mix with the Calgary Stampeders. I, I'm always interested and intrigued by guys who have something to prove, who want to prove some people wrong. Would it be clear that you're one of those guys? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, of course, you, you all know about last year and my Achilles tear. And, you know, even going into last season, I felt like I was uh, 100%. But I unfortunately I wasn't able to get a shot in you know in action and so you know uh, it was just time to move on and so um, yeah I'm ready to prove myself I'm just happy Calgary, Calgary gave me a chance and I'm ready to go out and you know learn a playbook as quick, quickly as possible and get to know the coaches and teammates. So how does the 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 correspondence between you and the Stampeders get started in order to get this deal done yesterday? Well. Um, my agent Bardia, he's been uh, working his magic like this past month, and you know, I guess he's been talking back and forth with those with those guys and a couple of more guys, and you know, I just uh, decided to make this decision. Uh, Calgary's a great organization; they won 14 games last year, and um, you know, it's just a good place to go in and compete for a championship. We definitely have a championship caliber team. There's the Achilles, you know, and I want to ask you about the Achilles. Take me to the the injury, and obviously, I'm more interested in in the rehab because these are just some of the there's some of the worst injuries you can have in in all of sport, no matter what it is, basketball, football, or whatever. Tell me about obviously the the play in which you went down and and the work that you've put in to get back to 100. percent Well, um, you know, it was just a normal day of uh, two a day practice, and um, you know, I was feeling great and. Um, I was actually, I had a free release on one play and we, was in, we were in a shotgun. You know, I just dropped back to um, go out in the flat and um, I just felt the pop. I actually thought it was a, a bad snap and the football hit me in the back of the leg, but, you know, I just went down immediately. It was no real pain right, you know, um, instantly, but, you know, all the pain came out of surgery and the rehab, as far as rehab goes, um, you know, I, um, I trained for months and months at at least performance in um, Frisco, Texas, which is one of the best facilities in the, in the country. And uh, those guys are top of the line, and they got me in shape and, and back to jumping and dunking and everything else I used to do. So I'm all good now, 100%. And how much, I guess, how tough was it on you emotionally? Because the physical part, you know that you're going to heal but now it's about getting that next shot, about getting people to believe in you once again. Did, was there ever a time when you wondered if, if this was kind of one of those career enders? Well, um, you know, um, that always goes through your mind when it's, when it's something that's, that's um, severe as, you know, Achilles tear. I saw, you know, a couple of guys go down while I was in the NFL from Achilles tear, and those guys bounced back, but... Um, you know, it's just one of those things, of course, it goes through your mind because it's your livelihood. But, um, you know, I, I had no doubt that I could come back. I'm still young, and, you know, I recovered quickly, and, and I just um, stayed positive and uh, stayed on course. And, and here I am, happy to be back playing football. Martel Mallett, new signing with the Calgary Stampeders, our guest here on Sportsnet 960, The Fan. Martel, you spent some time uh, in the NFL in terms of uh, some practice squad rosters. You spent some time in the CFL. What do you like about coming up to Canada, and, and how is this league viewed by guys like yourself? Uh, after college football, there's not a lot of options for football players. I mean, um, uh, Canadian football is, is in the NFL is not too much different. I mean, you have guys in the CFL that can definitely play NFL-caliber football and you know, um, vice versa. I can see, you know, guys in the NFL on 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 this level. And so um, it's not much of a difference. But, you know, at the end of the day, football is football. And, you know, um, there's only, what, 40, um, well, I guess 41 um, professional football teams in, uh, in, in North America. And so I'm just, 
proud, you know, happy to be a part of one. What do you know about uh, your teammates at the running back position? Oh, I heard a lot about uh, John, and, you know, he's a great back. He's been he's proven himself over the last few years, actually. And, uh, you know, um, I just applaud the, the guy for, you know, all his hard work and effort and um, consistency. I know he's he hasn't had, the, um, you know, the fastest route to where he where he's uh, gotten to, but, you know, he's proven himself and he's a great back, and I'm looking forward to working with him. As far as your skill set, how would you describe yourself as a back, and have you ever taken punts or kicks at, at any point in your career? Yeah, of course. I've taken a few punts, but, uh, mostly kick returns, and, you know, I feel like I'm a um, down here runner, but, you know, I can also get the edge, and, um, you know, I still have a, a lot of speed and power, and so, um, yeah, hard-nosed runner. Because I know that's one thing, uh, Martel, that uh, John Cor- or, uh, John Hofdagel, pardon me, mentioned in the uh, in the in the release, the press release, is that uh, depth to the running back position and our return game. And I know for you, you you'll do whatever coach wants you, right? But I mean, are, are you con- are you comfortable and at least uh, content with maybe starting with just special teams to begin? Oh, absolutely. I'm a team player and I'm an athlete, so I don't. If it's kick kickoffs, you know, I'm, I'm willing to go down there. And- you know, and um, do my job and, and do it at the best of my ability. And so, yeah, kick return, punt return, uh, kick off, running back, wherever these guys need me. You know, I, I understand that they're an established football team with all-stars on in all phases of the game. And so I just want to come in and contribute the best way I can. Was there part of you, and I can't help but wonder, your agent, like you say, he's out there working his magic, he's talking to teams. It's like, okay, well, maybe the Calgary Stampeders are an option here. Let's look into it. What's their running back situation? Oh, they've got the best Canadian running back, <laughs> running back in the league. Is, is, is it a little bit disappointing that your, uh, your crack at getting back in is, is with a team that has a very established uh, running back? Uh, no, um, no disappointment at all. It's, it's an opportunity. And, um, you know, it's, it's football, you know. I, I'm not. I don't want to jinx anyone, but you know, people. Things happen in football. People go down. You never know the situation. You just got to be ready at all times. So even if John needs a breather, I'm. You know, I'll be ready and willing to. You know, take this snap like it's my last. So. Martel, uh, a thought on uh, the NFL postseason. You got a, a team that you root for. There's certainly a collection of clubs that, that you played for down there. Um. Well, it was. Normally, just players. You know, I'm I'm always I've always been a players type of guy. So, you know, I'm just enjoying the playoffs, just like everyone else. I don't have a specific team that I'm rooting for. So, 27 years of age, you've got the Achilles tendon repaired. You're 100. percent So, one thing about a, an injury like that, and especially for a running back, now that the tendon is fine. The rest of your body is more than 100 percent because you've taken no contact in a long, long time. You got to feel great. Oh, I feel I feel wonderful. I mean, I've been doing everything that I need to do, yoga, you know, um, the whole nine, just trying to keep my body in shape and, you know, eating healthy. I'm just trying to do all the preventative things that I can do in order to stay healthy and uh, continue to play football. Working that downward dog. Yes, sir, absolutely. <laughs> Atta boy. Hey, Martel, <laughs> congratulations. I know Stamps, uh, Stamps fans are excited. As uh, Adrian McPherson signs on earlier this week, he's got some CFL chops, and obviously uh, the, the one year you had back in 2009, uh, awesome stuff. So people are excited about it. Can't wait to get you to Calgary. We'll see you then. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. You bet. Martel Mallett, newest member of the Calgary Stampeders.